Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here and I am so excited. So I've been waiting to make a video about this until I get the uh, album uh, ready. And this is a special bonus for any of my patrons on Patreon who pledge $1 or more. And I'm not kidding, this might be one of the best deals on the entire internet for aspiring artists and even for even for professional artists. I think I've got a really great uh, re photo collection of reference images. So let me explain what this perk is. Essentially, I've been photographing sculptures at museums as one of my hobbies for years. And sort of like slowly over the course of years, like while watching TV shows, I've been editing these photos, compiling them in albums. I've been using them for my own drawing practice while in art school and uh, so some of these photos when I was like really early in my photography career, you know, they're, they're a little rough, but I've definitely, I've definitely become a better photographer over the years. But the collection is essentially a huge variety of subjects you could think of. Sculptures of women, sculptures of men, sculptures of horses, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. And the reason this is a really good reference photo collection is that it saves an artist from Googling a uh, person with gun, I guess, and then drawing the third image result of person with gun. I don't have I don't have any photos of people with guns in my reference photo collection yet, unfortunately. But pretty much any almost anything you could think of, like dynamic poses, uh, a variety of body types, a variety of situations, variety of animals. Pr pretty much my collection is a great tool that I've used as an artist, and I've always wanted to share this with more people because a big part of this channel going back a long time is I want to encourage people to do art. I want to encourage people who haven't done art in years to try it. And I want to encourage uh, people who are, are trying to be really successful artists to incorporate uh, sort of incorporate more into their style than just copying something off of Google images. So what I'll say about using reference images is it's not always as good as drawing from life, but it's it's something that, you know, Norman Rockwell has done. It's something that many prestigious artists have, have done. And uh, I, I think you will really appreciate getting to see so, some of what I've got here. So what I want to do is just kind of like take us on a little tour of what all is in the collection that, uh, by the way, these are S Creative Commons zero licensed images. All, uh, all, all four of these folders are supposed to have that label. I've just got to update the name of this one just to make it clear that everything in the Art Institute of Chicago folder is also Creative Commons Zero Public Domain Dedication. What that means is, is that's the license I picked, which I just wanted to remove as many as possible problems for artists who would use this. Because I've had the experience of getting reference images and then realizing the license wasn't right for a commercial project. And it's Big fat headache. I, I chose Creative Commons Zero Public Domain Dedication License because I want I just want artists to get drawing and get rolling and not have to worry too much about ro royalties or w what have you. I consider this a resource to share with people who have supported this channel and who have been who are making art, making comics. I appreciate this is kind of like a gift almost to people who are helping me make this channel happen. So uh, I've just before making this video. Uh, put the Art Institute of Chicago folder into this collection. And this is what I would kind of consider the gem so far. Uh, the Chasey Museum photos, I'm still working on those. I'll gradually update them. And then these two are just sort of like bonuses. Miscellaneous objects, that's literally what it is. Just kind of like a few random objects that I've photographed. Uh, scenic photos, these are just various outdoor scenes in a variety of states. Some good uh, reference images of horses in this one too. I think under... Uh, stables. I've got a really nice collection of public domain photos of horses and such. Yeah, there we go. Well, there's one. The, so, and, and I usually like put all my shots in, so that's not a very good shot. So my point is that uh, scenic and miscellaneous. That's that's a little bit more random. But let's take a peek at Art Institute of Chicago. So uh, I'm. Uh, this is still sort of a work in process. It's. It's ready for you to start looking at the folders, find something to draw, and start using that as a reference image. Look at all this. But uh, I'm, I'm still working on, unfortunately, I wasn't always very good at identifying what the heck I was photographing over the years. And generally, I've been able to find the artists like Adam Lambers, uh, Amph Amphorite. Let's take a look at that. But, but there are some of them where I haven't fa figured out who the artist or artwork is yet. So, okay, so. And then the other thing I do is I try to photograph from 
numerous angles. And the reason I like to do this is if you just get a book uh, with some photos of these works of art, you're going to be limited to what the photographer decided was a good angle for you to look at. And I like to get almost a 360 degree angle. So usually I photograph from enough angles that I had a professor who taught 3D printing and she actually used one of my photo collections to make a 3D print of one of the busts that I photograph. So I, I shoot tons of high, high detailed, high resolution images from all around the, from all around the form. What's good about that is, is if you find something you really like, let me find my medieval collection for you. So let's say you want to draw a comic about knights in shining armor and I go to medieval armor and I've photographed several scores of sets of real medieval armor and weaponry. So you get there and you can find some reference images, but then you don't just find one angle. You can go to the next one, the next one, and the next one. So if you find a set of armor you really like, I try to take enough angles so that you can get a real feel for what it looks like in three dimensions. I try to get up high, I try to get down low. I shoot with a Canon 60D and that, that used to be like one uh, like a top tier. It, it's, my camera is a few years old, but it's a top tier uh, pr professional camera. Uh, I shoot in raw and then I save them as JPEGs just so the file sizes aren't super massive. But what that means is you're getting, uh, I save them in maximum quality, which means you're getting like a real detailed shot. I don't think, I don't think Dropbox will let us zoom in, but if you downloaded this and opened it in your browser or opened it in preview, you could zoom in and oftentimes you can even see like the texture and the little nicks on the armor or the little uh, cracks of paint on, or I don't pho photograph that many paintings. Mostly it's sculptures. You can see the texture of the sculptures of some of the things I photographed. So like literally thousands of photos that are all Creative Commons Zero Public Domain Dedication License, which means you can start drawing them and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about forgetting if they're commercial or non-commercial. You don't have to worry about uh, forgetting uh, who did what. I just wanted to remove the mental hurdles for young artists who are trying to build a good photo uh, collection. Heracles, I don't remember if this, I was very proud of how I photographed this one. This one might have been a bit more blurry. Eh, it's okay. So I love the sculpture of Heracles, so I always try to get studies of it. That's a good one. Yeah. Of his back. There we go. So, so I, I, the, the thing about this collection is I was kind of learning how to be a photographer as I was doing some of it. So not every photo in this is crystal clear and sharp, but a lot of them really are. And I think you'll find this a very useful resource if you're, if you are an artist. So that's given you uh, a taste of the photo, the Art Institute of Chicago photos. I'm really digging this. So the Chase Museum of Art one, th these I'm still editing and sharing them as I go. So what I'll probably do is I will make a Word document and I will write a list of changes I make as I do them. So if you like work for a while on these photos and then you want to come back and see if I've added anything, you can check the Word document and it'll say on such and such date I added all these photos and here's what's what's in something. You can say, oh boy, he added a whole bunch of photos of horses. I'll go check that out, right? So. This Chase Museum one is probably going to be expanding a lot very soon, but they're all going to stay in the same Dropbox folder for my patrons. So Spirit Wall, this is, I shared this on Twitter. These are photo, this is a sculpture of uh, Eastern style dragons. Uh, Kavanagh Beth, she's a contemporary sculptor who uh, works a lot with animals. So uh, this one's of a goat. If you want to draw a goat, well, I've got, I've got some reference images in the goat. Okay, now this might be important to clarify. Now, I'm releasing my photographs to the public domain. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you always have the right to use uh, another artist's work. If, if, I've like, if I like photograph a painting that's copyrighted and I say my, my photo is in the public domain, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the artist's work is in the public domain. I think these are okay because it was a public museum that allows photography, so I'm literally taking photos of things that are available to the public. Uh, I, I just, I, all I'm saying really is I don't, I'm not, I don't know anything about the law and I can't give you like legal expertise on what kinds of projects you can use these for, but at, for reference images for creative projects, 
uh, especially if you're smart and you know how to draw and reference a photo but not copy a photo this is going to give you this, this is still going to give you a lot of great ideas and images to work with if you want to draw like wolves and rabbits in this case poor Poda's thumb he's he's in real trouble from that wolf in the in this sculpture but uh so the pretty much the the sum of it is the Chazen Museum of Art uh photo collection that's still being updated. I'll make a document so you can check on updates as I make them and know what's new. Art Institute of Chicago, that is ready to go. Uh, and th I might, I, the thing is I've got a massive collection, so I might still make little updates to, to this collection, but everything that I've done is going to be in this folder for patrons as a Dropbox link only available to $1 and up patrons on Patreon. Now, since I'm making this public domain, I guess if you really wanted to, you could like share this on Twitter and uh, you, but, uh, yeah, it, it's the public domain. So that, that's the whole point. But the, the reason I've made this a $1 and up patron uh, reward is ju just to have a little like a little something to make it worth my time and effort to edit new photos for the collection. So I'll encourage you, if you become my patron and make use of this resource, it'd be good for you to keep it under your hat so that you and my other patrons have a really special something that saves you from having to just go to Google Images instantly for all of your fo photo reference needs. So uh, I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I want to thank all of my patrons on Patreon. I also want to thank my $5 and up patrons on Patreon. And here they are.